God bless you. I'm Bishop Eric Butler, and I'm coming to you from the Sanctuary of the Joy of Life Faith Ministries in Omaha, Nebraska. And I just wanted to share a letter, a word of encouragement with you today. And I wanna to come to you from Matthew chapter 10 in the 16th verse, and I'm gonna read all of these verses. It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But be with Beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And it says there in the 19th verse, But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given to you in that same hour for what ye shall speak. I want to talk to you today, and it's an old TV program some of us may not remember, but a TV program called Mission M. Possible. That was a TV program from the 60s that they've made a movie about here recently. But that program was about a group of people that were given a mission that seemingly was impossible for them to undertake. But despite the impossibility that they were able to succeed every week in their mission. This word or this scripture here in Mark, Matthew chapter 10, the 16th verse says, be as wise as serpents and harmless as doves. If you look at that on the surface, that seems like mission impossible, particularly during a time like today when it's saying continue to do good, continue to do ministry. Even while you are trying to be cautious and careful with all the guidelines that we are living under, continue to do what we are supposed to be doing. Continue to live our lives even while we're not able to do what we normally do. That sounds like mission impossible. Wisdom is knowing how to do things and how to accomplish things, how to prepare, how to have plans and procedures. If you look at the serpent, his wisdom is his ability to plan ahead and not have his victim know anything about his plan. His ability to select a target and work stealthily and steadfastly, quietly towards that target and even making adjustments and tactics and strategies while he keeps the target in view. The serpent understands the goal, the mission, the target and still drives toward that, even as that serpent may go here or there adjusting due to the environment changing. Wise as a serpent, understanding why we're here, understanding still our mission and our purpose, but harmless as a dove. Harmless, not to have any intention or purpose or mindset to injure anyone or to destroy anyone. Not having any thought in our mind or any action in our body to put down anyone or to pull down or to demean anyone. In essence, to have a loving nature as a dove. A dove, other than taking time to sleep, appears as if its total existence is to loving, accepting love and being loved. A dove by its loving nature is harmless. So wise as a serpent in our plans and our focus on our goals and our mission and our ministry and our purpose, but as harmless and as loving as a dove. Everything we do and strategize today should be focused on love and assistance and helping, understanding the dynamics that we're living in and the situation that we're living in, but not backing away from our ministry and our purpose for which God has had us down here. We're building up instead of tearing down with actions and words. We're trying to heal and bind together and encourage as opposed to trying to separate and divide with harsh words, putting in one category or the other. I love chapter 1 Corinthians chapter 13 says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongdoing does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, it trusts, it hopes, it perseveres. You look at it on the surface, it might seem like mission impossible to combine these traits into one person, wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. 
But Jesus commands it, so not only can it be done, but it must be done. The key to this is to truly be born again, to truly have our mind changed so that we don't look at the world with a carnal or natural sense of the world, but we look at the world as God would have us look at the world. The key is to truly become a brand new creature. Second Corinthians chapter 5, 17 says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away and behold, all things are new. Our attitude, our mission today is to keep this goal in mind, even as we are dealing with the issues of society. That is be steadfast and focused on ministry, steadfast and focused on our purpose, steadfast and co focused on our goal, but without doing harm and doing everything in love. Mission impossible by ourselves, but with God, all things are possible. Let us pray. Now, God, I thank you again, even for this word of sharing, being as wise as serpent, but as harmless as a dove. It may seem like mission impossible, but it's more important today for us to retain our understanding of our ministry, our purpose, and our goal, and to do it to the best of our ability, even in the circumstances that we're faced with, and to do it without harm, and do it with all of the love that we can share. God, we ask that you would bless all of those that are still in ministry, even with the difficulties and the, 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 the things today where we're trying to comply with that might cause adjustments to what we're doing. We're going to be wise, but we're going to show your love, demonstrate God's love. Bless your people everywhere, and we thank you for being God, and we pray in your name. Amen. Thank you again for joining us today, and remember, God is still God, and he is still in control.